Bill Green, and I guess my thought for the day is that this is an epic time. We've lost wealth, we've had to give up on our personal goals, at least temporarily, and we've been forced to sacrifice for the betterment of our community and the world. How great is that? This is it. This is our moment when we show who we really are for our families and for our community and for the greater world. April 23rd. Now, April 23rd, 1945, two weeks before the German surrender in World War II, the U.S. Eagle 56, a Navy patrol boat, was torpedoed and sunk just five miles off two lights in Cape Elizabeth. 54 of 67 sailors die, 13 are picked up by the USS Selfridge, and after brief interviews, they're split up and scattered to the four winds. Authorities initially say that the sinking was caused by a boiler explosion, but Thanks to Naval historian Paul Lawton, the truth came out in 2001, and the Navy corrected the uh, record with ceremonies in Quincy, Massachusetts. And there I met three men who survived the attack. Two said things that I will just never forget. John Breeze told me that he scrambled to the back of the ship, the fantail, which was bobbing on the waves. The guy in front of him shouted, look, Breeze, there's a sub. And Breeze described it as gray, with a red trotting horse on the conning tower. That was significant because the U-853, after having had repairs, had been hustled out to sea with just a coat of primer. German subs were normally black. John Scagnelli was the engineer on board the Eagle and responsible for the boiler that didn't explode. He knew because he had stress tested it the week before. Scagnelli, tormented by the accusation that his poor work had killed 54 friends, changed his career path from engineering to religion and became a minister. At the ceremony where all but Breeze received Purple Hearts, the lone survivor who came through without injury told me that his thoughts were with the parents of his deceased shipmates who never knew that their sons had died in combat and were therefore heroes. The U-853 was sunk seven miles east of Block Island with 55 sailors on board. That sinking came on May 6th, the day before Germany surrendered. So on April 23rd, we remember the Eagle 56, the last Navy warship lost in coastal waters and the greatest loss suffered by the Navy in New England during World War II. I'm Bill Green and kids, remember, don't go bragging just because you're from Maine.